Hello everybody, this is Taylor Dugan from Taylor Dugan Photography. Um, I'm here to show you how I edit underexposed photos um, in Lightroom um, as well as kind of a preview of the new Pretty Film collection which is my new favorite and also the favorite of a bunch of people in the Facebook group. Uh, so go check that out. Um, I posted this final image um, Obviously, this isn't the final image. The edited version of this image to the Facebook group a few days ago. And I got a lot of questions on how, you know, I kind of saved it from being underexposed like this. How I got the colors that I did. So I figured I'd do a quick video and show all you guys um, kind of all the tweaks and things that I did. Um, so let's get started. Um, so the Pretty Film Pastels collection, like I said, is one of my favorite favorites. Um, there's bunches of good ones. Sorry, I don't know what just happened. Um, Aphrodite's favorite. Bashful is my absolute favorite because it's so clean. Um, I also really, really love, where'd it go? Peach Sorbet because it has a lot of uh, those warm, soft, neutral tones. But today I'm going to be working with uh, Bashful. This one right here. I love how clean this is, how sharp it is. Um, I absolutely love it. Now, but as you can see, it kind of made the photo even more underexposed. But I love what it did to that sky. And I love what it's doing to the colors in general. So the first thing that I'm doing is fixing this all right here. Um, I'm actually not going to touch the exposure because I want the sky to stay that pretty, nice, golden, fiery looking. Um, but I am going to tweak everything right here. So obviously the first thing that we're going to do is take the shadows way, 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 way up. Um, like way, way up to, you know, okay, I'm comfortable with 77. Uh, and I'm also going to take the blacks themselves up. That's probably good around there. Um, and then we're also going to take the highlights up just a little bit. Like I said, I'm, I don't want to do too much and mess with that sky. But I am going to take them up a little bit. That's probably good. And I think that's all I'm going to do right now. Um, I do need to warm up the whole image. So I'm going down in the Pretty Film Toolkit. And I can't read the names of these. Okay. Uh, the White Balance Daylight Sunny is the one that I want because it was sunny. I love these. They help so much. It's just a really quick shortcut. Um, to see exactly what you're doing. Um, what now? Alright. Let's go into the fun stuff. Um, if you don't use uh, graduated filters, I have a problem saying that word. If you don't use graduated filters, is that what they're called? I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Someone please correct me. Um, <laughs> they're awesome. They're such a good tool in Lightroom. Um, and that's pretty much how I got this image to look the way it did um, in my final edit. So um, if you click on this uh, little thing right here, it will bring up this, this panel where you can add or uh, tweak existing graduated filters. Um, and so I'm just going to... You see it says new right there. I'm just going to drag one from here all the way to the top of that tree line. I'm going to make sure this is small because I want it to be a pretty abrupt change. And you can kind of twist and turn. And what that's doing is it's editing everything from here to up here, but it's not touching this sky. Um, so doing that... Um, I'm not going to mess with the highlights, actually. Yeah, I am. I changed my mind. I'm going to take the highlights up a lot, as you can see. I'm actually going to bring this up a bit. There we go. I don't want it to be, you know, where you can see that there's a definite graduated filter. All right. So taking up the highlights. I'm also going to take up the whites, and like I said, this is only editing what's in the bottom of the image, and that's why I love it so much, um, because I want this guy to stay nice and colorful, 
and fiery. Um, I also want to warm up just this part of the image, so I'm just going to tweak the temperature, make it a nice even 15. That's probably good. Um, all right, and I'm also going to add one for the sky right here. Dragging this down. No, we don't want this one to be highlights. I'm actually going to tweak the exposure of this. Dragging it back down, making sure um, all those colors are nice and preserved. Uh, I want to make it nice and like pink and fiery looking. There we go. Um, I'm also going to take down the highlights. There we go. That's looking like a sunset now. And taking up the saturation. Perfect. So hitting done. You can already see the before and after. We've not only made the sky more vibrant, but we've made this part way more um, light. And you can see the details. Um, but obviously, we still have an issue with the grain here in the background. Um, so I'm going to show you how I kind of got rid of that. If we're zooming in, um, you know, to 100% of the photo, you can really see a bunch of color noise. Um, but the first thing that I'm going to do is sharpen the image as a whole. Um, so I've shared my sharpening workflow on here a bunch before, but I just like to take the amount slider pretty far up. Um, radius and detail I do pretty much all the way up as well. And then holding down Alt, I'm going to slide the masking slider over until I'm comfortable with what I see in white is what the only things that are getting sharpened in the image. So about there is fine with me. So now is when we can really do the noise reduction. Um, the luminance right now isn't so important to me as the color noise because we want uh, these colors really in the green right here to look nice and creamy and not noisy and speckly. So taking this color noise reduction slider, we're going to slide it up a little bit, uh, maybe to about 25 or so, 27. That's probably good. Uh, but what's really going to change things is these two sliders, the detail and the smoothness. So we want to take down the detail and the color noise, obviously, and make it really creamy. Um, so we're just going to probably cut that in half, about 25. And then for the smoothness, we're just going to bump that up to about, uh, you know, that's probably good, 87. Give it a second of process, and then you can look at the before. Look at that color noise and after. And that's just using the in Lightroom sharpening and noise reduction features. Um, I got a lot of questions on how I made it not look so grainy, and that's how. Um, so looking at the before and after, the image is already looking stellar. But since I'm really picky, I'm going to go and fix a few more things. Um, let's see. I want a little bit more vibrance, as you guys all know. I love a good vibrant image, so I'm just bumping this up a little bit. Look at that. That is just a stellar difference um, just by using the vibrant slider. Um, I want this image to have a little bit of a mat, so I'm just dragging this point up, giving those blacks a little bit of a matte look. Uh, her face is a little bit, a little bit red so I'm gonna use the hue uh, the red hue slider and just make those reds in her face a little bit more orange so it doesn't look like you know she has a sunburn or anything I'm also going to warm up the greens a little bit more because it is fall even though it doesn't look like it in Texas I want it to look like it in the photo so just warming up those greens a little bit more and she still has a little bit of like magenta in her arm, so I'm going to just take that over just a little bit. Um, I'm just going to increase the saturation of the oranges. Make everything, like I said, make everything look really, really fall-ish. And increase the saturation of the greens. There we go. That's beautiful. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Um, so taking down the luminance of the greens really puts the focus on her. Um, hmm, what else do I want to do? This is pretty much my workflow with every single image 
is just tweak and tweak and tweak until I find something I like. But I think this is pretty close to the image that I posted on the Facebook group. Um, I wasn't really following any specific um, pattern or anything. Um, I was just showing you guys my workflow. I think uh, it could stand to be lightened in this corner just a little bit. There we go. So you can see the before and after. And I'd pretty much be finished with this image. Um, after I do all the color correcting and stuff like that is when I would go in and do the uh, retouching using all the uh, pretty uh, portrait brushes. But I'm not going to do that on camera. There's lots of, lots and lots of other videos showing you guys how to do that. Um, but I hope that helps some people um, know kind of how to fix underexposed images in Lightroom. Um, and like I said, I really, really highly recommend the new Pretty Film Collection. It is absolutely amazing. Um, some of the best tones, the best clean edits. I just absolutely am in love with that. I'm using it for everything right now. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what else you guys would like to see in the future, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks!